Hi everyone, this is the solve video for the November 26th gas double arrow Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so we need the digits from 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have double arrows, and they don't look like arrows. <laughs> there's no pointy bit. Um, this is a relatively new variant, I think. It's at least fairly new to me, and it's the first time that we've had it on gas. Um, but it works a lot like regular arrows. Uh, but whereas we would have one circle, which is the sum of an arrow, here we have two circles. The sum of the digits in the two circles is equal to the sum along the line. So that's, that's the only difference from arrow. Uh, all of these are straight lines, so that's going to be very helpful when we're solving. We can't repeat digits because of Sudoku rules. But in general, you could have a circle with line, 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 circle down here, and repeat digits, and all sorts of fun things like that. So Bill has given us a very gentle introduction, and we're going to solve it now. So we'll start at the top. We have a 4 and an 8, summing to 12. There are only three ways to do that in two cells. One of them is 4, 8, which we're already using. Another is 5, 7, which we can't have because of this given 7. So we have to have 3, 9. And the 9 here tells us the order. Here we have 3 and 7 summing to 10. We can't use 3, 7. We also can't use 4, 6 or 1, 9. So this is 2, 8. There's an 8 here. And then we're left with 1 and 5 in the box. The 5 tells us the order. And now here we have a sum of 8. So to get to 8 with a 1, we need 7. Here we have 6, uh, 1 plus 5. The only other way to do 6 in two cells is 2, 4. All right, this line, we need a sum of 10. There are four ways to do that. Can't have one nine. We're, we can't eliminate anything else from this yet. So we will come back to this one. Uh, let's go to the bottom and take advantage of some symmetry that Bill has given us. Uh, we have a sum of 10 again here, but this time we can't use four six or three seven or two eight. So it must be one nine. We know the order from the top. This is 7 plus 4 is 11. We can't have 4, 7. We can't have 3, 8. We can't have 2, 9. So this must be 5, 6. Again, we know the order. We are left with 2 and 3 in the box with the 3 here. And now 8 plus 1 is 9. So we need 7 to go with the 2. OK, let's do this line next. The remaining digits in the column are 3, 4, and 7. And this is kind of a reverse arrow in some sense. Typically, we have one arrow circle summing to the rest of the digits. Here, it's the line that is summing to the rest of the, of the digits because there's only one cell in the line. So this one cell has the same sum as these two cells. So this must be the biggest digit, 7. And these are 3 and 4 where the order is decided by this 4, and that does sum to 7, so we're okay there. We need 1 and 8 in the column. We have a 1 here, and then we need 2, 6 here, which we can't resolve yet. So we're down to two possibilities here. We can't have 4, 6 now. We still can't determine the order. I could pencil mark this a little bit, but I'm not going to bother until we can actually write in digits. So. Let's look for some Sudoku. So at the top, we have two eights. We need an eight in this box, and there's only one place left for it. We have two sevens. We need a seven in this box, and there's only one place left for it. That's going to give us three, four, nine here. I will go ahead and mark that. And one, five, six are the remaining digits. We have ones here. Another way you could look at that is one is eliminated from these, and we also have a one here eliminated from there. Um, five, six left in this box. 
And then over here we need four and nine to complete the row. We have a four there. And you'll notice we have the same triples here. This is called roping. It's very useful. Um, if you ever have a repeated triple like this in two boxes, that triple is also going to re be repeated in the third box, and the other triples are going to be repeated. So this is 156. We can't resolve that yet. Down here we have sixes looking in this box. So this is six. We have sevens looking in this box. This is seven. The six here resolves five, six. Here we have two, five, eight, and we have two and five at the top. So this is our eight, leaving us with two, five here. These are three and nine in the box. Notice we don't have a roping here. Here we have four, three, nine. Here we have four, one, nine. So we know the four and the nine are gonna appear up here, but not with one or three. It's the other option. Either you have roping or you don't have any um, repeated triples. Anyway, fours, I'll look into this box. This is the only place for four. And we are left with five and nine. We have a nine here. Just gonna remove five from that cell. We have one, two, eight here. The one eight tells us this is two. We're left with one eight. Down this column, we need five, six, and seven, but we have a seven here. So the seven has to go here. And there's probably something else. Yeah, this column, we need a nine. This is nine. So we're left with five and eight because we have one already. So this is five or eight. This column, I don't think we can do the same trick yet. So we'll come back to that. Okay, but now that we have the 7, we can finally resolve our other line. Can't have 1, 9, can't have 4, 6, and now we can't have 3, 7. So this has to be 2, 8. There's an 8 at the top. That resolves that. The 2 disambiguates 5, 2. We need 3, 6, 9 in this column, which I don't think we can do yet. Oh, the 2 resolves the 6, 2 here. Uh, the 8 resolves the 5, which gives us 6, 5, 1, 6, 1 here. This is 1, 8. This is a 3 in the row, and that leaves 8 in the box. This row has 3, 4, and 5 left. We have 4, 5 here, giving us 3. We have a 5 here, so this is 5, 4. We have a three here now, so this is nine. We also have a four, so this is our four, this is our three, because it's nine and three. And to finish off, we need six, nine, and seven. And that's the solution.